I'm Greg the Balloon Guy. In this lesson, actually this is the first lesson, it will be how to blow up a balloon. Okay, a lot of people, they like to stretch the balloon first. Like that, and... Ah! I have to warn you about something here. That was a balloon joke, and I, I'll tell a few of those, or uh, I guess express a few of those during this series, but the warning is that balloon jokes are not usually very good, so you're fairly warned. Okay, so how to blow up a balloon. It's nice to get it stretched a little bit, especially at first if you're new to blowing up a balloon with your mouth. The trick is to get a burst of air, a big burst of air, in the first little part. If you can even get a little bit of air in there, you know, you see it goes going, and nothing, nothing happens. But if they were to get that first bit, that's the key. You get that first bit and it breaks the surface sort of, and then, and then you just continue on with it all the way. It takes practice, uh, but that's how it's done. Here we go, the first burst. A big breath of air and like with karate, you know you can do it. You are going to get air in that. It's a mind over balloon sort of thing. Psst, I did it! You see? Air in that first part. Okay. Once that's there, then you just continue and continue to blow it on the way, all the way up. Here we go. Blowing up an orange balloon. Oops. How embarrassing. And there you have it. Now, don't worry. If you try it and you just cannot get it, you can always resort to this, the balloon pump. Now, one really good thing about a balloon pump is, um, well, with my balloon pump, I like to tie a balloon to it and then hang it off of a, my belt loop or my balloon apron and it's just right there and I can always pull it up and just drop it when I'm done and it just dwang, dwang, hangs down there so that's great but anyway one really good thing about balloon pumps is pardon me I could put this on fail <laughs> one really good thing about balloon pumps especially this kind this is a good balloon pump. It's a Qualitex. Qualitex makes good balloon pumps. This is only about five bucks and you can order them online. And the thing that's good about them is that they're exact. Each pump, and it pumps both ways, in and out, each pump delivers a specific amount of air to your balloon. So there's not a lot of, get, there's no guesswork. For me, I know if I'm gonna make a dinosaur, I normally wouldn't make an orange dinosaur. If I'm gonna make a dinosaur, it's six balloon pumps. And I know exactly, you know, how much air is in there, and then I can twist it without any guesswork. And, uh, and then I'm able to go, go ahead with that. Um, so if, you don't, if you're not able to blow it up with your mouth, don't worry about it. Most ballooners use balloon pumps. Just every once in a while, I'll, I'll blow it up by mouth just to, you know, show that I can actually blow up a balloon with my mouth and I'm a, an authentic balloon guy, but really this is what I use all the time and most ballooners do too. And most ballooners use Qualitex balloons as well because they're just the best. They, uh, they look great and they, uh, they're du very durable. Okay, the next lesson is going to be about how, how did I tie that thing? You saw how quickly I tied that? Well, that's the next lesson. Thanks for watching.